History coming back to life. That's what's happening with a true story that took place here in Wisconsin more than 50 years ago. Our Brett Vickery sat down with the producer of a documentary remembering the events that took place here in 1966. This story is about a high school student exchange. 55 years ago, two Wisconsin high schools made history during the civil rights movement. A high school social studies teacher in Kakana, Wisconsin, wanted his kids to have a broader view of the world. To do that, he wanted them to perform the play, and the play he chose was In White America, the history of African Americans from slavery to civil rights. But in Kakana, Wisconsin, there are no black people. So that teacher and another from Rufus King High School in Milwaukee, an all-black school, came up with an exchange. Students from Kakana would swap lives with students from Rufus King for a month, so each school would be able to properly portray the play. Kakana is very small, you have to get used to it. Joanne Williams has thought about this moment in Wisconsin history since 1966. And on the event's 50th anniversary, she realized this was a story that needed to be told. I was cleaning out my garage and I found a copy of my high school newspaper, which had the pictures of the kids from Kakana. And it said 1966. And I said, this was 50 years ago. It's time to tell the story. So then began her journey as a small filmmaker, meeting up with students from the past. You know, I just felt so uncomfortable. And also interviewing students of the present, who are now performing the play in a new era. And it was great we got to do that with our cast. It brought us all closer. This is an important part of Wisconsin history, and I think we should all know about it. Thursday's showing at the Wilson Center in Brookfield is the first time a rough cut has been showed to an audience. She hopes it can impact people as much as actually living the events impacted her. Through this film, if I can convince two or three people that they should get to know people that are different than they are, then it will be a success. Reporting in Brookfield, Brett Vickery, Fox 6 News. And we should put out that point out Joanne Williams is an alum here from Fox 6. She says the goal is to submit the film to the Milwaukee Film Festival, which means she hopes it will be completely finished by the admission deadline in February of 2022.